Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sports book. I am your host Tom Downey, back once again with some more Cowboys rumors and news items with the NFL Draft just a little bit away. So we'll start things off with some Travis Frederick notes. Is he at off-season workouts? Some good news here for you guys. This one is a four-star rumor for Frederick and the Cowboys. He is there at the Cowboys off-season program and working out with the team right now. That's a very positive sign. One we expected, but we know the GBRA can be a little bit tricky issue there so we kept it at three stars but four stars now he is participating in the Cowboys team workouts now remember he missed all of last year with that syndrome the good news is the con it's all conditioning based right now but this is a very promising sign that Frederick's going to be available for on the field work once we get to OTAs in late May all in all very promising progress right now for Travis Frederick now Still kind of a little wait and see front here, but I have every expectation the Cowboys do, and so does Frederick, that he will be the Cowboys week one, if not preseason week one, starting center once we get to the actual race. And if so, that's a big boost for the Cowboys offensive line. Connor Williams slash Suofilo, I think Seal is going to be your left guard. Zach Martin should be fully healthy. Leo Collins showed promise later in the year. Hopefully that growth continues. And then also, Tyron Smith, when healthy, remains a top-tier offensive lineman. So if Frederick stays healthy, that's going to be a very big boost for the Cowboys' offensive line. No shade meant towards Joe Looney, but he's not the NFL's best center like Fred Beard is when he is fully healthy and able to play. Next up on the Cowboys rumors, is Zeke going to hold out? We're going to give this one just the one star. Look, he is also at the Cowboys offseason program. Now, some in the media looking at you, Albert Breer, who said yesterday that Zeke could hold out. Still, this could happen, and things could change. Maybe a scenario in which Dak and Amari and maybe even Byron Jones get paid. Zeke might be a little bit upset about that. I'm not as convinced. Look, Elliot has two more years left on his contract, and I don't think Elliot and his camp are dumb. Look what happened with Lev Bell. Things did not go well for him. He cost himself money in the long run. He's never going to make up that money. So if Zeke tries to hold out, that might not go well. I think the big thing for the Cowboys is they're going to keep saying, Zeke, we supported you during your troubles with the NFL and the suspension. You should, you know, have some faith in us here. Now, if and when Zeke does get paid, it's going to look a little bit like the Todd Gurley contract. And through the first three years, I'll take Zeke Elliott. That's just me, and look, Gurley's a fantastic player, but there's a really strong argument that there is not a better NFL back in the NFL right now than Zeke Elliott. He has been so incredibly talented, so incredibly fantastic, and most importantly, consistent. Each and every single game, you're getting something good out of Zeke. And he's the focal point of this offense. So I don't think you're going to see Zeke hold out right now. I'm not as convinced as Zeke's agent might want you to think. I feel pretty good about Zeke showing up, doing all the right things, and remaining a good team player for the Cowboys like so many of the guys on the roster are right now. Now, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sports book. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code COWBOYS120 for a 120% deposit bonus. We'll make some money during the NFL Draft. All right, you put down 50 bucks, use that 60 buck bonus to bet on NFL Draft prop bets, and we'll turn a pretty penny. That's chatsports.com slash bet, promo code COWBOYS120. Let's stick with some more contract talk then. Is Amari Cooper going to get at least $16 million? I'll give this one three stars. Of course, this is a per-year figure. Three stars here at pretty close to four, quite frankly. I'd be real surprised if Amari Cooper came in when his deal was done and it was less than $16 million or only at $16 million. He's proven himself as the Cowboys' number one wide receiver. And remember how contracts work. They keep going up with every new player. The next guy gets paid a lot more money because the cap keeps rising. Now, the top seven receivers all make $16 million per year or more. Now, maybe Cooper isn't a true top seven receiver, but remember, it's all about when guys sign their contracts. So Odo Beckham right now checks in $18 million per year. I don't think Amari would break that, but it's at least worth mentioning. Antonio Brown, the Mike Evans-Hopkins contract signed you know, a couple years ago makes sense. Well, then some other guys that are making quite a bit of money. Brandon Cooks, most importantly, Sammy Watkins at $16 million. If I'm Amari Cooper, I'm going, look, Sammy's making $16 million. I deserve at least that, if not more, from the Dallas Cowboys, maybe even factoring in the way the salary cap has gone up. So overall, from, from, from 2018, factoring in the Raiders' play, he had over 1,000 yards. 
And for me, this next question is kind of a no-brainer. The bigger priority between Zeke and Amari Cooper? It's Amari Cooper, because Amari Cooper's contract ends sooner. Cooper has this year left on his deal, then he's a free agent. Zeke has this year left on his deal, his fifth year option as well. So, in terms of urgency, Amari needs to get done before Zeke Elliott because he enters the open market sooner. And in terms of the way contracts could adjust, it seems more he will get more big deals for receivers than he would for another running back as well. So, for example, maybe a Julio Jones restructure. So, let me know in the comments section. This is not about who the better player is, who's more important, but the bigger priority. I think it's pretty clearly Amari Cooper. Some more contract talk here for the Dallas Cowboys. Is Dak going to get $30 million per year? I'm going to give this one three stars. I, I kind of waffle between two, two and a half, three. We'll round up, play it safe with three here. Now remember, my initial projection had Dak Prescott getting 29.5. So not much of a leap here. Remember, Russell Wilson just signed his record deal worth $35 million per year. Now, I don't think Dak is going to surpass Russell Wilson. That's a pretty big amount to go up from Dak Prescott. But... The range does kind of change. The range was at, you know, around that 33.5-ish range for Aaron, for Aaron Rodgers to probably 27.5. But now it kind of gets bumped up a bit because Russell Wilson's making $35 million a year. Jimmy G's making twenty-seven and a half. Kirk's making twenty-eight. Look, Jimmy G can't stay healthy and has barely played in the NFL. And I think most of us agree that Dak Prescott's better than Kirk Cousins. So from that perspective... The range did kind of bump up a little bit here with Dak Prescott. Maybe Dak's initial asking price got bumped up. I do think they settle in and they find that middle ground, much like Demarcus Lawrence does, much like all contracts end up happening. I think it ends up coming in, though, around 30 million. Maybe it's 29, maybe it's 31, but that's kind of the range we're looking at here. Now, is Dak Prescott worth 30 million per year? That's a tougher question. Let me know with a Y for yes and for no. In a pure bubble, no, he's probably not. But the market dictates. And I'm not a big fan of the market. The market's kind of gotten out of control for the quarterback position in general. But the market does dictate $30 million a year per deck. And one more note for you guys. Don't worry too much about the sticker shot because I know it's real right now. Focus in on three years from now. That $30 million price tag, once Jared Goff gets paid, once Carson Wentz gets paid, once some other vets like Big Ben and maybe Phil Rivers and, of course, Mahomes all get paid, all of a sudden, Dak's going to go from top five to maybe not even being in the top ten. So if you do it now, you will save some money in the long term. Get to some more Cowboys rumors here. How about some draft talk? What about Jalen Hurd and the Cowboys? Two stars on this one. We have another name to add to the Cowboys pre-draft visitor list as Hurd will visit the Cowboys this week. He is one of their final pre-draft visits. So puts us in total 28-29. Greg Little might have been a Dallas Day guy. Either way, you've got the vast majority here of these guys locked in and figured out. Now, Hurd is intriguing to me. Receiver out of Baylor, played running back, of course, at Tennessee. I know many of you guys like him. I view him as a day three guy. A lot of upside, still needs some development, but he could be a good big slot for you. And if the Cowboys, I don't think he'd be in play at 90, but maybe he is actually that well-regarded within the NFL. The Cowboys looking for not necessarily an impact this year at receiver, but an impact in 2020. Cooper, one of them, but he'll be here. Same with Michael Gallup. But Randall Cobb, Alan Hearns, Tavon Austin, those guys all could make the roster, but they've all got one year left on their deal. I have some hope for Cedric Wilson and Noah Brown, but those guys aren't locked into roster spots right now. So the reality is that projecting ahead to your roster, you don't have many guys locked in. So if you want to take a chance on a guy like Jalen Hurd, I'd say day three. I don't want to take him at pick number 90. But if he's there in the middle rounds of day three, I do think he makes some sense for the Dallas Cowboys to be a top target for them. And by the way, again, never forget, the Cowboys heavily value those pre-draft visits. Oftentimes, guys they take were indeed a part of their pre-draft process. Now, in terms of the draft, make sure you guys are subscribed to youtube.com slash chat sports TV. We will have our live NFL draft coverage there. Every Cowboys pick, every NFL pick. So make sure you're subscribed. YouTube.com slash chat sports TV will be live for all seven rounds of the NFL draft. Next up, our last rumor of the day, one that will never, ever die. Sean Payton and the Dallas Cowboys. Two stars on this one. We'll keep it two stars for, I think, quite some time at this point. 
A, look, it's never going to go away. This is the new Cowboys rumor. There's always one. There was Sean Payton for a while. There was Earl Thomas for a while. There was Zeke and Dak and Demarcus Lawrence. Sean Payton's the new one that every media outlet's going to throw out there once traffic tends to die down. So there's always going to be that speculation, but Sean Payton's kind of trying to nip it in the bud at just a little bit. He shot down the rumor during a radio interview, says he's got some Saints logo tattoos he can't get rid of. I know what Peyton's trying to do. I Look, we can reevaluate in terms of the actual feasibility later on. If it actually comes down to that. If Garrett gets fired, Sean Peyton's going to be the top guy on the Cowboys list. Now, whether they get him or not, whether they trade the, like, the draft picks needed to get him is a whole different story. But who will be the Cowboys head coach in 2020? Give me a G for Jason Garrett, which I kind of suspect we won't have too many of those. P for Sean Payton, or O for other. Now, if you type in O, let me know which name you have in mind. And I'd venture to say many of you targeting Chris Richard, but let me know what you guys think there in the comments section. Garrett, Payton, or other. I'll throw out one name that we've mentioned before many times on this show. What about Lincoln Riley? Just an option. We know the Joneses get along with him pretty well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.